I'm going to do a quick tutorial of how to use iScore Baseball um, app, track or app Tracker. So if you go here, you go to Add Game, select the visiting team, select the home team, go to Save, then you click the, the game itself. Click play. And at this point, it's going to ask you for the lineups. So if you want to move players around, you click here to drag up or drag down. If you need to remove a player, just hold your finger down on that button. Remove the player from that lineup. And you click here to go to visitor. You do the same. If you need to change the position, really the only position you need to make sure that's accurate is the pitcher. Um, so if you need to make somebody else the pitcher, like in this case, let's make this person the pitcher. So you change this to pitcher and then remove this person as the pitcher and move them in any position. Just so in the app, this player will show up as the pitcher. And once you're done that, you click done. It's going to take you to the lineup page. Just confirm that the two pitchers are keep adding lineups and you click play. Um, one quick tip. Uh, if you click the balls and strike button, it'll show you um, the list of um, the input that you put into the app. Um, so that comes in handy. Um, you do your ball strike, whatever happens. As you, sh as you see, it shows up right there. Um, when putting a ball in play, so it's important to know you when you press in play, you use that button primarily for when the hitter wasn't out. So the hitter reached a base safely. Um, another player may have gotten out. Um, you use the out button when the batter it's when the batter himself got out. So if you click there, you go to ground out. It'll ask you where it was hit. To the shortstop, to first. That batter got out. Okay. Um, when you go to and play single, hit the ball there. Now you got a batter on first base. The most common mistake when it comes to scorekeeping is a fielder's choice. Fielder's choice is when the batter hit the ball and one of the other base runners got out. So the bat so the batter himself didn't get out, he reached first base, but because of his hit, one of the other players got out. So what the way you do that is you go to in play, because remember I said if the batter didn't get out, then you put it in play. Go to fielder's choice. Let's say he hit the ball to the shortstop. The shortstop got the lead runner out at second. I'll ask you what happened to the lead runner. Um, so the, the runner that was on first base, he was on going to second base, and he was a force out. And now the batter is on first base. Uh, common mistake is people put a single for the batter and then put the, um, the base runner out at second. That's incorrect. It'll show up as a hit. And it shouldn't show up as a hit for um, the batter. Um... When there's a seven run mercy rule, you click on miscellaneous and you'll see end inning there. Um, at the end of the game, if the game ends early, click end game. Um, if you ever want to change the batting lineup, so if a player shows up later, you go to show batting lineup and then you can add the player that you deleted into that lineup. Right? It's important when you add a player that you click um, batting yes, otherwise he will not show up in the batting lineup. Um, in terms of other tricky plays, um, in terms of a double play, you would put a ground out, and then I'll ask you what happened to the lead runner, then you would click on double play to make it a double play. Um, apart from that, all the other rules are, are, are self-explanatory. If it was a fielder's choice, uh, sorry, if it was a sacrifice fly, you click on sacrifice fly, and hit the ball there. Right, um... There would be a, a runner that would be on base, then you'd uh, click that runner to show that he advanced uh, forward. But as you can see, the inning ended there with that fly out. Now the other team is batting. So it's pretty straightforward. There's just, just a couple of gotchas that you need to be aware of. Um, in terms of uh, when you click on in play, if you ever want to go to out, you can click on out and change the, the batter to be out. Um, but apart from that, all of it's pretty simple. If you ever need to do an error, reaching on base due to an error, you click on error. It'll ask you where the error was made. It was made by the shortstop. It'll ask you what happened to the batter. 
Um, if the batter advanced as well on an error, if it was an if it was an overthrow that went into the dugout or whatnot, and you just click on the base that he went to and click on error again. Or if the batter advances due to the throw, um, you can click on in on the throw to have him advance to the base. Apart from that, pretty straightforward. Um, just wanted to make sure you got a couple of those tips. Um, thanks for helping out, and uh, hopefully you learned something from the video. Thank you.